Go to other churches when you see. Hallelujah. Allocation. The must do. Hallelujah. Sa sige ni Roma na nga na 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 waka misinari. Ngay tukul may soli na koro. May soli na yung isa. Hallelujah. But for us, if you can recall whatever that you can do, but do it to the best. Because only God can repay you. Not us, not the church. Hallelujah. That's why I'm asking you, please revisit the preaching yesterday. 3 p.m. Revisit. Because when Peter spoke, and I believe I'll, I'll, I'm finishing with the generous man. I just want to run up today. When Peter spoke to Jesus, he was concerned about his family. He was con concerned about his people, his family, his home. Because when they were walking by in Mark chapter 10, there was a, a rich young man who came to Jesus and said, Hallelujah. He said to Jesus, um, What can I do to enter into the kingdom of, of heaven? Then Jesus said, Follow the law. You follow, just follow the law. And he said, I've been following the law when I was here. And then Jesus turned to him and said, If you really want to be good, go and sell your property and come and follow me. If you really want to be good, if you really want to be good, then do this. You see, the best thing in this life is to give everything or to give to the things of God. Because Jesus said, the reward is always for those that live his father, his mother, his brother, his sister, his home and his land, for me and the gospel. For me and the gospel. Kaya man nakake na yung mga diyo takikina na itutubin ako. Church activities. For us, most of our church activities is evangelistic program. Whether it's a youth program, whether it's a conference, even whether it's a leadership training like this, we still open it out. Eleven is also good to a lot of churches when they do their leadership it's in house. They don't put, they don't put it out. Because it's in-house. But for us, only the administration is in-house. The teaching, we want to share the teaching to the people. Hallelujah. And because of that generous heart, hallelujah, that Jesus spoke to this rich young man, if you really want to be good, then your generosity Sell everything, give it, and then you come and follow me. Hallelujah. That's when this man turned and saw his crooked face. Then Jesus told the disciple, It's easy for a camel to go into an eye of a needle. Then a rich man to enter the kingdom of God. Do you know when you turn away the things that you're supposed to bless God with, bless the preaching, bless the gospel, you will be like that man. Because we are called. We are called for the kingdom. The calling is in the kingdom. The extension of the kingdom. What is the kingdom? Jesus. The preaching of, the, of Jesus. And the word of Jesus. The gospel of Jesus Christ. The love. The birth. The death. The resurrection of Jesus Christ. That is the gospel. To share with the people. The sharing of the word of God. Hallelujah. And then Peter said, that means nothing. We, we can do nothing. What we are doing is nothing. Hallelujah. Because Jesus said that. So in the mind of Peter, he's saying, man, if this man cannot enter into the kingdom, then what about us? That's why he asked that question. Lord, what about us? We have left everything and come and follow you. Is anything there for us? If you speak like that about the rich man, what about us? We are not rich. We, we have nothing. Hallelujah. And then Jesus said, No one leave his father, his mother, his brother, his sister.